Hi guys, so I know I haven't filmed a video in a while. I've kind of had a lot of stuff going on. Um, I just graduated high school actually yesterday. Um, and I've missed making videos, but honestly I got a MacBook and I can't yet figure out how to edit videos on them. So I need to like work on taking a class or something. Um, so I'm going to try to do this all in one take without having to really edit anything. But I'm hoping to come back and make a lot more videos this summer. I'm going to be going to Europe for 17 days, but hopefully I can like pre-film some videos and upload while I'm there. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. This video is going to be a drugstore makeup haul. Um, I picked all of these things up this week at the drugstore. So I am going to jump right in with it. So I'm going to start with um, these. I got the Ardell Fake Lashes um, in 117 black, and it's the natural collection. They look like that. Um, and I got a second pair of Arda lashes, but I actually wore them last night because I ran out of my favorite Sephora lashes. Um, and the mall was just too far from my house to drive there yesterday to make a special trip for that. So I ended up just picking these up and I picked up another pair that are more like a full kind of pair that were just thicker. Um, the next thing that I got is the um, Maybelline Dream Fresh BB 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. And I got mine in the light medium. So it looks like this. I'm actually wearing it today. Um, I think I need to use it more kind of just to see how I think about it. Today it was alright. Um, not, not sure if I really like it yet. I'm going to have to kind of try it out more and see what I think of it. The next thing I got I also used today and that is the NYX um, HD Studio Primer. The box comes like this, and I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this, and just kind of has this little pump on it, so you can see that I used it. And I used this today, and I kind of have a problem with dry skin, and it's not super moisturizing, but my skin doesn't look totally like dry, um, so I need to use this more as well, um, but I so far think it's alright. Um, I've never really been one who's like big into primers. I usually just kind of put like a lotion on under and then it gives me a little bit of like a dewy finish. So I'm just going to have to see more of what I think about this. Um, the next thing I got, I actually got for graduation yesterday. Um, and that is the Falsies Volume Express Black Drama in Waterproof. It just kind of looks like this, purple packaging. And I'll show you the wand too in case you haven't seen it before. The one just kind of looks like that. Wispy. Um, and I actually use um, the Falsies original formula, not the waterproof one. Um, that and another um, mascara in combination with each other on my like everyday look. And I needed a waterproof one because I figured I was going to be crying at graduation a little bit. And I didn't want my mascara to be running at all. So I just picked up a formula like I already knew I liked in the original in the waterproof one. And next is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. And this one, it comes in two colors. This one is the more like tan color. Um, so I can like show you what it does on my hand. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. So I just kind of like smeared it out right there. But it's just kind of like this, um, like, iridescence that adds a little bit of, like, a tan kind of glow to your skin. Um, I'm wearing it today. I wore it for graduation last night, and I actually do really like this. You only need a little bit of it, though. You don't need to put, like, a giant glob on. You just use a tiny little dot. But I think it's really good. Okay, and then all of the rest of the stuff that I got are all lip products. So, the first lip product I got is the Revlon super lustrous lipstick in 011 stormy pink this is what the packaging looks like and you can see the color hopefully sorry it's kind of like weird lighting today um and the color just looks like that and i will show you a little swatch of it on my hand so it looks like that there's that kind of pink color a little bit of like a darker Kind of hot pink, but like a darker toned hot pink. The next thing that I got is the Revlon um, Color Burst Lip Butter in 055 Cupcake. And it looks like this. I actually have a ton of these. 
um, but I haven't had this color before. So I thought I would go ahead and um, pick this one up because I just thought it was pretty. And it's a very light kind of sheeny pink tone. I don't know how well you can see that. Sorry again that the lighting's kind of funky today. Um, so I really like the formula of these and I liked the colors so I picked it up. And then the next thing that I got is the Revlon Just Bit and Kissable Balm Stain. And I got this one in 015 Cherished Devotion. It looks like this. And I will show you a swatch of this one. It is right there. As you can see, again, like a light pink, um, more like a sheeny kind of color to it. But I just thought it looked pretty, so I went with that one. The next thing that I got is the last of like a lipstick kind of product. And it is the um, Maybelline Color Sensational in 860 Pink Pop. So the packaging is super cute on this one. And I'll show you the bottom. And I actually wore this one for graduation yesterday. And the pigmentation is just incredible. If you can see, it's that bottom one. And it is like a true like pink, but it is like bright and kind of has a little hint of like orchid. I don't know how well that's gonna pick up on the camera, but um, I think it's really pretty. Um, I wore it last night, actually in conjunction with the next thing that I'm gonna show you which is the L'Oreal Paris, um, I see the color, but I'm not totally sure what, what this is called, but it looks like this, that kind of packaging, and it's in the color 189 Pink Rebellion, and you kind of like twist off the top, and it's like a little, um, like brush, and it's kind of like a little gloss, but it's like more of like a, like it dries more of like a lipstick kind of gloss with like a sheen to it. So I will show you that color. I think it's really pretty. So that is the color. Ooh, I'll go like that so you can see it a little bit better. Ooh. Sorry, I'm trying to like refigure out my camera because I haven't done this in a while. It's kind of hard. Um, and then the next um, five things that I got are all NYX lip products. So I'll show you... Um, first, the three of the one kind that I got, and these are all the Extreme Lip Cream. I got three of them. I don't know how well you can see them. But I will show you swatches of all of them. So the first one is more of like a toned down pink. It's kind of like a nudie pink. And this one is... I'm trying to see if they have colors on them. This one is in Pinky Nude, so... Yeah, like I said, it's like a kind of more like nude toned bound pink. And it looks like that. So they are super, super pigmented. Um, I was really, really impressed. They had testers um, of all the like NYX products that you could try. And I was blown away by how pigmented they were. I've never owned any of these before. Um, so the next color is in Dolly Girl. And it's like this kind of more bright pink. And I'll do a swatch of this one as well. And this one looks like that. So again, like super pigmented. Like that is just the lightest bit. So I feel like you wouldn't even need to wear these really in conjunction with like a lipstick. Like I feel like these could be worn like by themselves. Because like even in comparison to the lipsticks, I feel like they're almost more pigmented. And the last color that I got is Strawberry Jam, and it is like a darker toned color. And I will show you a swatch of that as well. And that one looks like that. So it is more of a darker color in comparison to these bottom two. Um, so I just thought they were all really pretty. I do love like my lip products, like my lippies are awesome. They're totally my thing. Um, and then the last two I got are also NYX products, but these are the butter glosses. So these look like this. And I will show you this one first. This one is in the color Peaches and Cream. And 
I think that it's like a pink with some like hint of like peach tones. It's definitely like a lighter pink. And these ones are definitely more kind of like creamy and not quite as pigmented as the um, the extreme lip creams. These ones are more like kind of glossy and I would probably put these ones over a lipstick. And the last thing I got is the NYX Butter Gloss in Strawberry Parfait. And it's showing up a lot more purple on camera but it is a lot more pinky with just some kind of like purple undertones. But it is definitely like a pink, not a purple. And I will show you that one as well. This one is not quite as pigmented, but it definitely is like pink with a little bit of like some purple undertones. Um, so that is everything that I got. Um, those are the prices of everything that I got. Um, so let me know if any of you pick it up and I might do reviews on some of the things later as I try them out more. Thanks guys. Bye.